No birds here. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. How's the bird watching coming along? I just can't seem to find a red-tailed hawk. Any suggestions? Well, there's gotta be lots around here. You haven't been going around wearing sunglasses and earmuffs, have you? Where am I most likely to see one? Well, according to my bird map, they like to nest in the big tree that's just to the southwest of the Malone house. I suggest you park yourself nearby and wait. Bound to spot one sooner or later. See you in a while. Just remember, eyes open, mouth shut. Hello there. What happened to Akers and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions, why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. I've been trying to take pictures of birds for this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh, yes. The Birdman. I'd stay away from him if I were you. He seems pretty harmless to me. He's a fanatic. He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best birdwatching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. I probably shouldn't mess around with this without Ranger Aker's permission. Hello there. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Hello there. I have that water sample. What do I do with it? Just give it to me, and I'll take care of it. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem.
Well, I don't see any hawks, but this is probably the tree Red was talking about. At least it was the tree. That sounded like a hawk. Hey, what is that hawk standing on? Oh, that looks like a speaker. Huh? I better get out of here. <gasps> My arms and legs are tied. I can't move. At least I can kick. If I could just get that scythe down, I could use the blade to cut the rope around my wrists and free my hands. I can't just let this thing burn up. I've got to put it out. this thing burn up. I've got to put it out. Fire! What in blazes happened? I saw the fire from my platform and came running. You weren't in there playing with matches, were you? I was looking at birds, and then I noticed something on the house, and the next thing I knew I was locked in the tool shed and somebody was setting it on fire. Whoa, you're not making much sense. Probably smoke inhalation or something. Come talk to me after you've cleaned yourself up and gotten some sleep. I need to tell you something. Somebody tried to kill you? I didn't say that. Somebody knocked you out, locked you in a shed, set it on fire, and you think they were, what, just pulling a prank? Wake up and smell the hostile vibes, Nancy. I guess it's just hard for me to believe that anybody would consider me to be that big a threat. I should have never let you stay there by yourself. Sally, I'm fine. I feel bad about your tool shed, though. Who cares about the shed? It was full of junk anyway. I'm glad to be rid of it. That's kind of the way Ranger Akers saw it, too. He showed up right after the bird watcher did and ticketed me for burning refuse in a manner that endangered park property. Ah, uh, that man is insufferable. Emily was nice, though. She came by right afterwards and wouldn't leave until I drank the tea she made for me. Look, Nancy, one more time. If you want to leave, just say the word and I'll come get you. Sally, one more time. I'm fine. Well, then promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. I'll be in touch. You better.